Hi, this is Sean. Just want to do a quick demo of a little application I've been working on that utilizes both the ArcGIS JavaScript API and the Google Earth JavaScript API. And the point of this demo is to show that um, in 2009, we're at an age where we can utilize geoprocessing services across multiple platforms. Um, this is really helpful, especially in the enterprise side of, of GIS, where you can um, you know, continue to use great products like uh, ESRI, um, have their ArcGIS server, uh, running on the back end, but you can still um, use great visualization products like Google Earth as well uh, as your front end. So to demonstrate this, I'm going to do, um, take a look at a great little ESRI demo that's up online, uh, one of their demo servers. It's called Site Selection and Trade Analysis. And the idea here is that I use um, my analysis tools, as I call it, to select the drive time, and I choose one, three, and five minutes, which is the default, and to locate a site on this map. So I'm going to click a point on this map, and it's going to tell me, or estimate for me, uh, based on a network allocation geoprocessing task, how far I can drive within one, three, and five minutes. So I'll go ahead and click that. And I pretty quickly get a response back. And this is in their uh, JavaScript application. And it says, okay, you have the service area rings. So the blue represents one minute, the green represents three minutes, and the red represents five minutes. Now what I can do, though, um, is do kind of a second geoprocessing task. I can click on, say, this blue area, and I'm going to do a second query. So what that actually is going to do is go out and do the demographics by the block group. So that actually took that geometry, sent it back um, as part of the query to the ESRI server, and returned back uh, Google Charts API, showing me the demographics of the people underneath. And actually, you can see that there's a yellow polygon that's been added to the map as well to represent um, the demographics of the census blocks. So what I wanted to be able to do is to replicate this using Google Earth as the front end. So I coded that up and uh, basically took their template and had the ability to uh, do some Google search. So let me fly back to my next one here. You can see that the uh, Google Earth API does allow me to have um, the full Google Earth 3D experience directly in a web browser. And it's really nice because I can uh, interact with the uh, KMLs that I load in and out here. I can capture events. And so that event capture is actually what's going to be necessary for me to be able to uh, work with the JavaScript API from the SRI. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to choose the 1, 3, and 5 minutes again. I'm going to click on Locate. And I'm going to go ahead and pick that similar point. And when I click on the, on the Google Earth, I've actually sent that geoprocessing task off to the SRI server. And so it returns a, uh, a JSON object that I keep in memory. And I write out to KML, and because it's in 3D, I can you know, extrude those different polygons and represent them a little bit differently in KML. But the really nice thing is that because um, I keep that object in memory, uh, I can also now send that object back and repeat that same type of a query. So if I want to click on the same polygon again, I can actually return that same result um, directly in the Google Earth interface. So that's pretty cool. Uh, that means that you can utilize whatever you want as your front end, and I would recommend using Google Earth because it's uh, very fast and there's a lot of great imagery underneath it. And I happen to work for Google, so I like the product. Um, but I think that really gets to the point of Google Earth is not analysis, and uh, it doesn't have to be in all cases We're in the age where you can connect to uh, web-based geoprocessing. So this is how we've worked it with the uh, ArcGIS JavaScript API, and this code will be available on uh, Google Code. And uh, we'll also be working in the future on how to do this with uh, some open source geoprocessing tools. So thanks for listening and uh, taking a look and hope you have a great day. Thank you.